my little goslings and welcome to my random thoughts on Thursdays. This week I'm going to discuss why I'm a libertarian. Alright, so this week I decided I wanted to kind of get into my political leanings and things. And libertarian I think is the closest label, because people love giving labels, and so uh, libertarian is the closest label you can give me in terms of being, um, you know, for my political leanings. Even though I'm not a card-carrying li libertarian, um, I'm actually an independent voter, and I will remain an independent voter. I don't plan on ever joining any particular party. I don't believe in joining parties. I like being able to have the freedom of choice, and that kind of brings me to basically what I am, if you really ask me, is I'm pro-freedom. Bottom line, um, I am pro-gay marriage, I am pro-choice, um, I am <laughs> um, pro-smaller government. Um, if we have less government, we have more freedom of choice um, of, of ourselves and things. Um, there are things that I do believe that the government is useful for, like infrastructure. Um, we need the government to help us build the roads and, and that kind of thing. Military, that's important. Um, I'm not necessarily pro-military as much as I understand the need for military. Uh, we do need defense for our country. There's a lot of people out there that don't like us. Um, I don't necessarily agree with some of the military actions that we're doing at the moment, but I'm not going to get too deep into the military thing right now. Um, I'm just, I'm not against getting rid of the military. I know some people would love to just get rid of it entirely, but I can see where for our country we need it. Um, I'm also pro-gun ownership. Um, I don't see a reason why we need to restrict people uh, um, from owning a gun. Um, I think regulation is important and background checks and all that stuff. I think that's, there's no, nothing wrong with that, but I don't see a reason to ever ban the ownership of guns. If a person wants to own a gun for self-defense, you know, that's, that's their choice. Uh, we just need to get better at background screenings and keeping the guns out of the hands of people who um, have mental issues and you know what I think the bottom line is the problem isn't the guns the problem is that there's these people who have serious mental issues that aren't getting the help that they need so that's a whole nother issue but I think we need to focus on getting the help to people that need it rather than trying to take the guns out of the hands of good law-abiding citizens um, but on the other hand, I'm also pro-legalization of drugs. Um, I think legalizing the drugs and decriminalizing the usage of the drugs, um, taxing, taxing them, legal, you know, have them legal, maybe you need a prescription for some of them, uh, maybe, you know, some of them can be over-the-counter like marijuana and things. Um, it's not that I want to necessarily take them, but I think decriminalizing them, getting people who are um, in jail on drug charges out of the jail system. I mean, can you imagine how much taxes is going to just supporting the entire jail system that we have right now? Um, it's really becoming untenable at this point. And if we can legalize them and tax the drugs, you know, I mean, it's... I, I honestly don't see how that's hurting society. I really don't. Um, plus, it's going to generate revenue. Um, where, you know, we've got all this debt to pay off. You know, let's, let's, let's generate taxes in a different way. Um, but at the same time, um, cut things like income taxes and that kind of stuff. Because I think that's really hurting the economy at this point. People are paying so much in income tax. Um, that they're not able to go out and spend like uh, like they need to in order to stimulate the economy, which is why the economy continues to be sluggish. And I'm no expert on finances and that kind of thing, but that's just my personal belief. I mean, I just look at the taxes I pay as a small business owner, and you know, it's just it's it's so burdensome um, at times. Uh, just 
because I have to pay extra um, FICA, the Social Security and Medicare tax, uh, since I'm self-employed. And with between the federal income tax, the FICA tax, the um, health care surcharge that we get, thank you Obama, and the uh, state tax, I'm paying roughly 45% of my income goes to the government. Um, I think it's a little high. I really do. I mean, there are countries out there where people are paying 40 to 50 percent of their income tax and they get free health care. We get a 9 percent surcharge instead. And we don't get free health care. And in fact, people are getting denied health care and their health care um, premiums are increasing. What's going on with that? I mean, this is one of the reasons I did not vote for Obama the second time around because I was completely against Obamacare and, you know, the Affordable Care Act, get just, oh, okay, I'm not going to get into that one because that, I could rant on for that one for a while. Um, other things I'm pro, um, so is pro, pro drugs. I'm pro prostitution. If the woman is over the age of 18, um, and wants to choose that as a profession. It's the oldest profession out there, right? I don't see why you need to arrest them. It's her body. It's, you know, it's her life. Now, I do like how they're doing it in the Netherlands where they regulate it, where the women who work in that trade have to go in for regular health screenings. They make sure that they have condoms. Um, you know, if they test positive for any um, diseases that they have to step down, they can't do the, the work anymore because they don't want to have a risk to the population. You know, as long as we can regulate it, we can, and, you know, right now it's unregulated and it happens. I mean, sure, it's illegal, but people are going to keep doing it. Um, and many of them don't get caught. And many of them do get um, STDs and spread them among the population. So if we legalize it and regulate it again and tax it, yeah, you can even you can even have you know prostitutes actually have to file tax returns and pay taxes on the income that they make, and I'm sure they wouldn't like that too much. But um, it's a price to pay in order to get you know the the health screenings and that kind of thing. Why not? And it's a whole population of people out there that are earning. Some of them are earning quite nice salaries. Um, that's not being taxed right now. So I don't see where there's the problem. Pro-gay marriage. Um, I, you know, if you fall in love with somebody, who am I to tell you who you should be married to or not? And why shouldn't you have the same rights that my husband and I have? I don't see a problem with that. Nor do I have a problem with them adopting children. Um, same thing goes for polyamorous. Uh, families. I was gonna say couples, but they're not couples. Polyamory, I mean it's, you know, it, you're, most people are familiar with polygamy, which um, has been kind of demonized almost a little bit because of some of the more extremist Mormon factions out there who, it, with their compounds and things, and there were forced marriages between 14 year olds and older men and all this kind of stuff going on. And there's a whole contingent of people out there who practice what's called polyamory. Um, some of them are straight, some of them are bisexual, some of them are gay, um, and they form family groups where it could be one woman and two or more gentlemen. It could be one gentleman and two or more females. Sometimes it's couples. It's like you can have two or, or um, two couples or three couples, whatever, and they all live together and. Sometimes the gentlemen are together, and sometimes the women are together, and sometimes the, this gentleman is with this lady, and that kind of thing. But they all love each other. They're a loving, happy family unit. And sure, they do produce children. And I know some people are like, you know, what about the children? It's going to corrupt the children. It's, no, it's not. It's the same thing with any family. As long as the children are in a loving environment, they'll thrive. That's bottom line. I mean, look at how many monogamous straight couples are out there 
and you see this, I mean, it's it's not like a large portion of the, of the population, but you keep seeing this in the news where the mother goes nuts and shoots the kids, or the father goes nuts and shoots the family and kills himself, or they keep one of the children locked in a closet and nearly starve them to death, or any number of things. I mean, all these awful things that happen, and they're just God-fearing, straight, monogamous couples, right? But they do these awful things, and it has nothing to do with the fact that they're straight. It has nothing to do with the fact that they go to church. It has to do with the fact that they're mentally unstable. And I think, you know, if children can be born and raised into a, a family unit where everyone is mentally stable and loving, I don't see where the harm is. So much more harm going on to kids in in just regular, normal street couple homes. I mean, I'm not saying all. I'm not saying that all kids being raised in traditional homes are being harmed because, of course, not. Um, my uh, my nieces and nephews are all, you know, come, you know, a product of of um, heterosexual liaisons and things, and and they're all in in loving, nurturing homes being raised. You know, and they and they go to church and that kind of thing, and there's and and they're they're being raised in in very loving environments, but there's crazies out there, and those crazies can come in any shape or form, whether they're atheist or Christian or Muslim or Jew, it doesn't matter. There's crazy people out there, and it doesn't matter what religion you were born in. There's going to be a percentage of people who are going to be crazy, and they're going to do crazy things, and. That goes back to what I was saying earlier. If we need to try and um, find help for these people as soon as we can, as soon as we identify that you know what these people are having an issue, they're they're definitely mentally unstable. We need to get them the therapy, the medication, the whatever it is that they need. I'm not saying we necessarily need to lock them up, even though some people might be of such an unstable level where they might need to be institutionalized, you know, that's a very small percentage of people. I think most people can probably be um, helped through medication and, and therapy and that kind of thing. But if we help, go out and they, we help them, we, I don't know, I think bottom line that's what we need to focus on as a society. We need to stop focusing on taking away things and making people pay more taxes and all this stuff. We just need to help each other. You know, bottom line, I think I think that's it. So go pro freedom. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, based on everything I was talking about today, here's my question of the week: What do you think of my uh, my stance on things? Um, what is your opinion? I'd like to hear your uh, your take on 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 these different topics. Um, and uh, before I forget, my weekly update. I have been sticking to my exercise. Um, I finished out my uh, my elliptical workouts last week. I'm going strong with them this week so far. And I even on my my day off on Sunday, I actually went out and took um, one of the dogs for a 30 minute, like a long hike, and everything. Um, I can't take both of them at the same time. They're 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 a little too uh, rambunctious when they're together. And my husband was busy watching the the Super Bowl, so I only took one of them. And she's the one that needed the exercise more anyway, because she's a little bit more chubby. So, <laughs> but we went on a nice long hike and uh, and everything. So I've been I've been doing good. All right. Well, until next week, I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love a subscription. And uh, until next week, take care. Bye bye.